Hey guys, this is Vinay from Excel Champ. In this Excel for Beginners tutorial, I'll give you a quick introduction to how to get started with Microsoft Excel. This will help you in understanding where are the most important things, how do you input values, and how to use some simple shortcuts that will make it easy for you to start using Microsoft Excel. You will become comfortable in using it and you can see how much it will save you time. So let's get started. So I am going to click on Excel icon and Excel is launched. On the first screen, you will see an option to open a blank workbook or any of your old existing Excel files. It will even show you some of your recent files here. You can choose to create a new file or you can choose to open any existing file from here. In our case, we are going to create a blank workbook. Once you click blank workbook, you will see a completely blank Excel file. In the beginning, you will see lots of empty cells. The size is quite small. So the first thing I want to show you is how to increase the zoom level by going to the bottom right hand corner and simply moving the slider to the right so that the size looks way much bigger. Now the font is not increased. It just zooms in so that we can see the data neat and clearly. Excel is full of columns like A, B, C, D. Each column contains multiple cells and these are the rows 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many columns are there? More than 16,000. How many rows are there? More than 1 million. If you don't believe me, let me show you a shortcut so that we can see the column. So I will press the control key and the down arrow key you can see we have reached the bottom of Excel. This is column B and the row number is 1048576. That is more than 1 million rows. Now that we are so far down, how do we go back up? So it's very easy. We simply press Ctrl and the up arrow key. Similarly, Ctrl and the right arrow key will take you to the last column of Excel. This is more than 16,000 column. So there is a shortcut called Ctrl Home. Anytime pressing it, it will bring us to the very first cell. Each cell is the cross reference of the column and the row. So this cell is called B2. And this cell is called E5. If you are not sure, you can also see the name of the cell in the name box. This is a great place to even go anywhere to some other cell. So if I type here P500, I will immediately jump to column P and row number 500. So you can scroll down by clicking on the scroll bar up and down. You can click on the left or the right and anytime if you want to go back, we can press Control Home to come back to the first cell. Now what do you do is in these cells we can write anything we want. So I can type some text like This is a long sentence. I can type a value, for example, month. And then I can type any value like January, February, etc. We can also type values like 50, 600 or 7890. You can also type numbers with decimals. For example, uh, 50 point 6, 4, enter. 
So you can type in as many decimals as you want and the data will be shown correctly. Now if the number or the text is too big, it may not fit in the cell. So what will happen? Well, you saw here, this is a long sentence and this um, is actually going until the next value. You can even see this value in the formula bar. So this blank area is the formula bar. If you go to an empty cell, you can see that the formula bar is showing nothing. That's because there is nothing. But if we click on any number, you can see that this cell and the formula bar is showing the content, the value of this cell. We can also write a formula by pointing to the cell. So any formula in Excel, we write by using the equal to key. So if I say equal to January, enter. So now you can see this value is the same as equal to the value in the cell C5. So it is correct, but the formula bar is showing you the formula C5. So this is the formula that is showing here. And this is the content of the cell. If you want to point to the value, we can also say equal to, and we click on the cell shows 600, but the formula is E5. When I press enter, I will see the value 600 here. Because uh, this value is equal to whatever is in the cell E5. So see the beauty. If I change this to 7, 8, 9, enter. Did you see that the value here also changed? That is because the formula says equal to whatever is in E5. So when we change this, this value will change. If I change this to text like hello, notice that even this cell changed. To edit any value or to make change to it, we can simply overwrite the value. You can also press the shortcut key F2. By pressing F2, the cursor will go to the very end and you can type another value or you can type a decimal number. So we can type values, we can change values, we can type text also. Let us say we write a long sentence and it is visible. It looks like this has overwritten the content of the cell D2. But actually when you come here, you will notice that D2 is actually empty. So if I type a value here like year, now you notice that the content of D2 is year and the contents of C2 is, this is a long sentence. But this is no longer properly visible. That's because the width of the column C is short. So what we can do, we can come in the column area between C and D and drag by clicking on the small cross bar. So like this, you can expand. This may be uh, not a good idea. So if you double click, it will automatically expand to the required length. But this alone may not be a very good idea. You may not want such long width. So what we can do, is we can reduce the width, but now we cannot see, but you can increase the height. So let us see, I am increasing the height of row number 2, hoping that the value will be properly visible, but oh no, the value is not visible. It is still showing you. So um, it is still showing only the cut of sentence. So did we lose the sentence? No it is still there. What we need to do is we do not need to increase the height manually. We can simply choose to wrap the text. By doing this, it will automatically be able to fit. Now, when we double click, it fits exactly in here. And as we expand, 
the text will also flow accordingly so depending on the height or the width you can choose to double click and expand using the auto width auto height or you can choose your custom height and the cell will uh, show the value in the available space now let me show you how do we cut copy and paste values so for example if i want to uh, write here uh, month and sales so if i write here january february and maybe the sales is 500 and the sales is 460 so like this we can write and if let's say I want to copy a value so how do we copy so you can right click and by right clicking you can see there's a copy so this cell has now been copied we can go to another cell let's say here and we can right click and paste so the same value gets copied here if you feel that you have copied it in the wrong place we can move it we can delete it we can change it so uh, let me show you how do we move it you can slowly move the cursor until you see the four headed arrow click and drag so do you notice how the value 500 came up so let me show you again by going in here you can go to any direction and you can move the value so even if I'm here I can click and I can drag and move it there this not only works for text uh, numbers it also works for text another way you could have done is to right click cut and then we simply paste it here so if you don't want you can press delete and it is gone from there so these are simple ways to edit the text in the cells we can also uh, select multiple cells so if i want to move this entire section i just go and select the cells in this case now when I go to the corner and I move the whole set is moving and similarly I can bring it back to where I want you will notice that by default the text the is always left aligned and numbers are always right aligned that means they touch the right border the text will touch the left border that means it will be closer to the left the numbers are closer to the right but we can change this alignment for example if I want sales to be in the middle so I can say center align so you can also click on any cell and align we can also select multiple cells and then we can click on the center alignment and everything will be centered so you can play with the options the home button contains the most common uh, font alignment number styles cells and editing um, buttons and icons other menus in the ribbon this is the big ribbon which shows all the menu items so there are other menus like insert if you want to insert a chart or page layout if you want to plan out how the printout will look like coming back to home let me show you how to use a third kind of handle so when we have written January February Excel has figured out these are months so if I want here March, April, May, so I don't have to write. I simply drag this down and you notice it develops March, April and May. When you let go, it will automatically show this. Such a great option from Microsoft. You can key in the actual sales. 
let's say 300, 650, and 810. So we have written multiple numbers. Uh, if by default the numbers are not um, center aligned, so if you want, you can center align if something is not aligned properly. To add the numbers, we can write here total. I have recorded a separate detailed video on how to add numbers. There are three different methods. So the link to that video is below this video in the description. You can check it out. But I will show you one simple method and that is we can click on the formula equal to and then we can add the numbers either by clicking them one by one like this or we will use a shortcut which I will give you shortly. So we can also write here C14 plus C15 etc. So you can see all the values, the total is visible. But even if you did not do this, so the shortcut is ALT equal to alternate key and the equal to key and it will develop a formula for you equal to sum C11 the starting cell all the way to C15 the ending cell. We simply press enter and we get the sum that is visible for us. If you want, you can do some simple formatting. So we can select multiple cells and click bold. Here also I can bold. I want, I can give a border or uh, we can choose to give a thick bottom border. So a line is visible. I can also change the color by clicking on the so these are pretty simple, easy to do things. On the top, I can write here monthly report for safe travels limited. And if you want, we can also select multiple cells and we can merge and center so this whole thing becomes a single cell. We can increase the font and I can change the color by choosing a different color. Our report is kind of ready. If you want to put more borders to it, we can choose uh, all borders. And if you want to center the text, that's also a good idea. Uh, or if you don't want, you can undo it. So the text will be left aligned and the values will be right aligned. The heading can be in the center. So very simple to do some basic settings. We have seen in this example, how do you open a blank workbook, key in the values, move around, copy, move, change values, write a simple formula, how do we uh, write long text and align it? How to do simple formatting, borders, and how to change the color? I hope you found the video useful. And there are more such tutorials that I have created that I am sure you will find them useful. If you want to learn more, you can watch these videos, like our channel, and subscribe also click on the bell icon so that you will be notified as I release new videos. And I also have created detailed step-by-step -step training program courses for you so that you can learn Excel step-by-step. -step. You can go to my website excelchamp.net and see the courses there. Do remember to try this out on your own and learn more about Excel, it will definitely help you. I hope this video helped you. Please like it and write a comment. Tell me what did you like most about it. Thank you for watching. All the best.